Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make something like this. This is episode one. And the door should open. So let's get started. What you're going to need is dispenser, iron door, glass, redstone, a button, pressure plate, redstone torch, and some stone. And maybe you're going to need something else. I'll show you later. Oh, here. Yeah. Anything for your buttons to go on. So, first thing you want to do is this is going to be depending on how many buttons your combination is going to be. So, I'm just going to do five, five buttons for your combination. That's one, two, three, four, and the last one. Five. Okay. And now what you want to do is place these in here and then put buttons on top of them. Do this for your door and put an iron door. Now what you want to do is place your dispensers in here like that and put your glass something like this. Now what this is for so the dispenser hits that and falls straight down. And then what you want to put is your pressure plates. And then here, open two blocks like that. And then dig straight through. And now here is where you set your actual combination. So I'm going to put mine here, here, and here. So for the lock to work, you're going to have to click this one, this one, and this last one here. Oh, I meant this one. Alright, so what you want to do now is you just get straight to the wiring. Where you're not going to have your lock, you're just going to put redstone through, just like this. See, there's no torches. And now what you want to make is an inverter. So I'll show you how to make that now. The easiest way is to put one block here like that, one redstone torch like that, and wire that to the inverter. See, that's on, that's off. That's pretty much what an inverter does. <coughs> now what you want to do is just wire that to your door should reach if you did this correct. Now what you want to do is fill this with anything, it doesn't matter whatever it is. The more you put, the more times your door should be able to open. So I'm just going to put about 10 in each. Make sure you put in every of them or else it won't work. You have to put these in every, every one of them. It doesn't matter what what you use, you could be different things. Now, so my code was first one, third one, and fourth one. So, first one, sorry about that, Minecraft glitching, third one, and the fourth one, and the door should open. Now, if the door doesn't open, um, just rewatch the video and you should know how to do it. Just make sure you do everything correct. Now let me show you what happens if you don't get the combination correct. Let's say you did that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Pretty much all that's going to happen is that it's going to be on all of them and the door's not going to open. And if the door doesn't open, this should be gone in five minutes by itself. It should just go be gone. That's when if someone was trying to hack into your house, that's the only time they'd be able to 
I actually try again in five minutes time. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped. And I'll see you later on my next episode.